Good morning everybody. Welcome to the channel. In today's video our job is going to be to change that hydraulic cylinder. Um, the pin's already out this end because we know the cylinder leaks but the pin is still in up at the other end. <clears throat> My plan is to use a couple of bits of wood like so, put it across the chassis and then hopefully the cylinder will kind of balance on there and I can roll it in and out. That's that's the plan. Let's, uh, let's go get the new one and see if it fits, eh? This is 33 and a half kilos of Fleming's finest. Because they were the cheapest people to buy it off. So here we are. Not a fair Being tested at some point because there's loads of oil in it. Um, quite a few decent scratch marks on it too, but I guess it is a hydraulic cylinder which will now work. So one thing I'm interested to see is, is it 108mm across like they say on the website? So the website says 108mm diameter, this one measures 103 First thing to do is under the hydraulic hose. Now, this one's not tight because I had it off the other day. And because we're on a 60 degree cone fitting, they don't need to be tight anyway. So, all we do is lift this up out of the way, and then that'll stop your nail running out. We know there's really a little bit of oil in the cylinder, um, but we're not too bothered about that at this time. There's no oil in the pipe either, so we'll get a bit of uh, paper just to keep the, the union clean and then we'll get the pin out and get the cylinder out. Bang that in there. Keep any crap out of it. Um, yeah, so we can get it out now. You hear a scream? It's fallen on me. <clears throat> so I'm wondering if I can pull it up with a ratchet strap. I've just hit a stinging nettle. Nothing's ever easy. It's always a struggle. If I have that there, I get another little bit of wood in there, and we'll probably be okay. And you know what we didn't get ready? The big hammer. We forgot the big hammer. Ooh. We'll have to go and get the big hammer. Loosen that again. I think that needs a bit of oil on that ratchet strap. Let's get the hammer. I'm all set, I've got my hammer. What else can I need? Oh, sleeves down because of the nettles. Oh, it stings. Oh, that's my punch. Oh no, it's on a bloody, bloody, bloody split pin. How inconsiderate. Oh, 
really so pin moves back and forwards, that's one good thing. I think we need some mold grips. Let's get some mold grips. They will help me. And I'm going to edge on the side of caution with some WD-42. <laughs> Probably wasting my time, but <laughs> we can but try. Now, where do I put my hat? Ah. Here they are. Twisting? That's encouraging. So pain coming to do do hats falling, hairs coming out, it's all going wrong people. It's going very slow, but it's going. It keeps going. I don't think it's here, I think it's stuck. Which isn't ideal, is it? No, it's not. But it is coming out. I've got it! Fantastic. My neck hurts up. Big pin next. Spray some jalopy. Jalopy! out anyway. Lovely. Hmm. Hey, let's get this nice strap off. Like that. Um It's true, have I? Clearly. Uh -huh. So. Oh, I'm gonna have to lift the tab, don't I? fall and hit me too. I can see it's gonna fall and hit me. Better not fall and hit me.
hands out and slot. Good grief, man. Heavy that. That's quite heavy. Okie dokie. Not an easy job by oneself. Okay, we're on. On the wood anyway. Whew. So I think I might do is put the rest of the strap back on. Because that could save me. If it all goes wrong. It would be a nice job with an extra pair of hands, you know. But I don't have them. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Oh, that's a pin's falling over. Never mind. Definitely not an easy job by oneself. Let's get it up. A bit higher. There we go. It's not as easy as you think. Uh, in the air. It's too high at the back, which means it's hitting the trailer. Body. This is not easy. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, we got it all wrong, people. Because I've, because I've had the ratty strap around it. I've got to put it in wrong. Bloody hell! I've got to take it out of there. <laughs> hard by yourself. Really hard. 
Oh, we don't need that either. <sighs> Not now. But nobody wants to help. They'd rather see me struggle. They would. They'd rather see me struggle. It's not fair. It's not fair. Lights going. <laughs> well, that one's in. Right. Now I've got to do is clean. Oh god, there's a little dirt in my hat now. Clean all the dirt out of this hole I put in it. Then I can't see through. Some more grease. I'll get a pin in. So because I can't pull the cylinder down to get the bottom pin in, my plan is to go and get my hand pump and pump some oil in it to push it down then I can get the pin in and hopefully everything will be nice. So I've just got a half inch to half inch nipple um, with a 60 degree cone on each end and a doughty washer. Just need to nip that up, nothing excessive. And then find the end of my pipe and connect that which hopefully will still reach. Through there, like so. Hopefully, that's in the right place. You can get anti burst valves to go on these in case a pipe bursts, but I'll be honest, I don't know a single person that runs with them just because it reduces oil flow for the cylinder coming back into the retracted position. And again, on the 60 degree cone, these don't need to be any more than really just nipped up. Because they seal pretty good. You probably can't see a lot because it's getting a little bit dark. The long dress is in my way. Remove that. It's better. Okay, nip top, job to go. Let's get the pump done. So I've got a little, little hand pump now. Um, and then, yeah, we just need to see how far we need to go. So we need to go a little bit more. So we'll pump a little bit more. And then it will go in like steps because it's got air in it. So you build up a bit of pressure. There we go, build up a bit of pressure. Then it will move down. And then a little bit more. One more should probably do it. Like so, hopefully.
pressure off the pump. In. Oh my god, what mission? An absolute mission. Just to get a cylinder in. Whew. So, yeah, she's there. One hydraulic cylinder installed. So just get the pins in now and then we're done and then we can get some uh, grease nipples in because there's room for grease nipple in the end there you see and then there's just one top there as well that you can do so when you've got the trailer tipped up you can grease it so i don't have any grease nipples at the moment i'm not sure what fed they are so i need to look into that should have really done that before the cylinder was on but the cylinder's on now so it's out the way which is good so I'll find a bolt that fits up, so I know what I'm doing. Um, find some split pins to stop the pins falling out. And we call this one a success. So yeah, um, got the hydraulic cylinder. It's 36 inches between pins, centres. And it is from Fleming, because they were the cheapest. And... The cylinder came in at 270 something pounds, including the VAT, and then there was another 27 pounds plus VAT postage on top of that, which made it come in at 302 pounds something or another. Um, the next cheapest was Cramp, I believe, and then after that, the next cheapest was Marshall at 400 and something plus VAT plus postage. <laughs> Right, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.